Hey, what's up, guys? This is Dissonance by Design, aka DBD. I'm throwing up this video for you guys. Uh, this is a new channel for me, so send me some feedback. I got a lot more Madden 25 stuff coming you guys' way. Uh, online ranked games, virgin gaming, money games, uh, mini schemes, offense and defense. I got a lot of mini schemes I'm excited to show you guys, but uh, right now I'm throwing you guys a two point conversion play. Uh, I don't see much of this on YouTube. Maybe I'm just looking in the wrong spot, but uh, these plays can win you games, guys. Two point conversions can change games. Uh, so the one I want to show you right now is at a gun split slot. This is a formation you can find in a lot of basic playbooks. Uh, I'm running this out of Buffalo's playbook right now because they've got this cool kind of offset spread shotgun formation that I'm trying to scheme with. Uh, this one right here, it's got some wacky routes in there. But that's how I found this play. But the play I'm going to be showing you is called PA Wheel Switch. Uh, I know it's because of kind of wacky routes on there. Um, you're going to go. want to make sure your tight end the pass catching running back is in your RB2 spot because uh, they're going to be catching the ball, obviously, probably in traffic. Um, I got Reese back there. But the idea is you got RB running this curl route, but it's to the left and it's kind of delayed. It's a really kind of wacky, glitchy route because uh, it's a play action. So uh, the idea is you're going to want to snap the ball, cancel the play action, and then roll to the right for a half second to a second, and then hit RB. Uh, the idea of it is you want to hit RB right when he stops, and that's going to get you that you're trying to get that glitchy catch animation where he kind of stands up straight and arches his back and then catches the ball on his chest. Uh, it's the same formation where if you got it on like a screen pass, he would turn up field and already be accelerated at full speed for some reason. Um, that's the idea of it. It's great for two-point conversions because he'll pretty much stop on the goal line and get you a catch. Um, there's one adjustment to this. The thing that really blows his play up is pressure from the right side. So I like to put A on a zig route, a little whip route, whatever you want to call it. Um, because if you get pressure from the right on a two-point conversion play, there's probably going to be a hole right where A is. Um, so that's just a nice counter. You can also fly to take right, but against a lot of good pressure, that's not going to do anything. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you guys how it works a couple times. Um, that wasn't the animation we were looking for, but we did convert it. So. Um, that's the one. That's the animation that you want. Where he just stands up straight and catches the ball. It's a really glitchy animation. You'll know what I'm talking about if you run this play. Um, yeah, just the one adjustment. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, what you don't want to do, is you don't want to cancel the play action too early. Because what that's going to do is it's going to make RB stay in and block instead of running his route. Uh, when I was first running this play, I would spam the cancel play action trigger and uh, it would screw it up for me sometimes, so I'll just show you guys what it looks like. Uh, don't get anxious. Um, you're usually a safe call if you just cancel the play action when the football is in the belly of the running back or tight end. Uh, but I'll show you guys what it looks like if you do it too early. See how he just stays in his blocks and how you run into guys. Um, but yeah, just the one adjustment, make your read. And uh, it's a pretty good play action play. Uh, two point conversion play. I've even ran it on. 4th and 3, 4th and 5 before because no one's expecting that over the middle and he'll turn up field at full speed. But yeah, anyway, um, I'll run a couple more times for you guys. That's the animation, exactly what you want. He'll stop right after the goal line. Um, it's a great play. Can you counter the spies? Um, I've even ran this two to three times a game just by flipping it because uh, people have a hard time adjusting at least by instinct want to follow your quarterback when you're rolling. So I'll show you guys one more time, I'm sure you got the gist of it by now, but uh, if you like what you see, subscribe, uh, rate the video, I got a lot more things like this coming, so uh, if you want to improve your game, help me improve my YouTube game, so uh, <laughs> hit me up guys, later.